a good one. Close doors, I'm a fool for your love <laughs> Okay, so we're getting in the car with my dad and today Well this morning we're flying to Arizona from Vancouver, so it's like a three-hour flight we're obviously going biking, which is really exciting. Oh my god! components on it. It's, it's a 29er and I've never rode a 29er before so it's gonna be a bit different but I'll get used to it. Watch the plant. Ow! And then here's my dad's bike. He couldn't find a bike with a lot of travel but it's still a pretty nice bike. It's a Rocky Mountain Instinct 29. It's got rock shock and a wait, is this rock shock? Unbranded. Yeah, all the decals are peeled off of it. <laughs> Mizoki. His Mar bike's worth way more than mine. Marzoki? Marzochi? I don't know what brand that is. But anyway, he's got a uh, Fox Flow on the back. Uh, how, what's the travel on it? 140. 150, 140. Yeah, so it's not that much travel. It's got some decent brakes. Some Shimano. The bearings on the crank need to be replaced. Yeah, I do not know what... Why do these brakes just say Shimano? Struggling. They just say Shimano. Okay, so my dad's going to get some passes, but we're going to ride a trail called Slim Shady. <laughs> So that was insane. I did not expect that. But 
we figured out what kind of snake it was, and it is a rattlesnake. It's called a Grand Canyon rattlesnake. It's kind of hard to see, but that that is what it was. And I'm actually lucky that it didn't try to bite me or anything, but I guess now we know why it stayed in the bushes for like a minute and didn't move at all. Like my dad was looking there, watching it, and it wasn't moving at all for like a minute. And I think the reason of that for that is because I ran over its head. So my snake. But yeah, that was it. That was sad. And tomorrow we're gonna go out and ride some more, do some dirt jumps, which is gonna be fun. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.